I had a subscriber um, underneath uh, in the comment section. He asked me to make a video on um, how to deal with a narcissistic supervisor. So um, I'm a little bit tired. I've had a pretty busy day, and uh, but I wanted to make this video um, while it's still fresh on my mind. How to deal with the narcissistic supervisor. So since I don't know all the details, I'm gonna I'm going to pontificate on what may or may not be uh, the situation that you're in uh, as far as having a narcissistic supervisor. Um, so I have pretty much all of my career been a hairdresser. I've been self-employed and um, people always, you know, think it's nice, you know, to be self-employed. They think that you can do what you want if you run your own business. But, you know, my clients are my supervisors. So I like something that Lee Iacocca said. I believe he was the manager of uh, General Motors Corporation. And Lee Iacocca said, if you're not good with dealing with people, then you're in the wrong business because that's all we have around here. So it really doesn't matter what business you're in, you're still gonna have to deal with people. And as far as, it doesn't matter if, you, if you're an employee or an employer, it really doesn't matter because you still have customers, there's still business to be run, and you still have to, there's a equal exchange that goes on. I mean, in my business, somebody comes in for, a haircut or a color, and, uh, you know, they are my supervisor. I mean, they are my boss, you know, and and my, and my thinking is, uh, is a ministry standpoint, and the word minister means to serve. So <clears throat> it, it doesn't really matter if I'm the owner of the business or not, uh, my job is still to serve people. Um, now, how does this relate to being a supervisor, a narcissistic supervisor, or dealing with a s narcissistic supervisor? Is um, you know, in the corporate world, there's a lot of um, stepping on people to get a leg up, and it's about it's a perfect. Uh, breeding ground for narcissistic type of personality styles um, and disturbed characters for that fact. So, yeah, you know, one thing that you can do is you can uh, try to become the supervisor, but my thoughts on that is, is that if you were to become the supervisor, then you may realize why the supervisor acts the way that the supervisor acts. Once you have to deal with as many people as they have to deal with, you you might get an attitude as well, even if you are an empath. And I have um, heard stories about people that have done certain jobs and they were viewed as narcissistic personality styles in the job, but outside of the job, when you get to know them, they're really empathic people. So, I mean, I can't say one way or the other, but I'm just, I mean, I don't know the situation fully, but I, I can tell you that, um, you know, leadership is influence. And the boss says, you go, and the leader says, let's go. So you can lead from the middle of the pack. Now, as far as interacting, if it is truly a narcissistic personality style supervisor, um, hmm. there is a term in narcissistic abuse recovery called fluffing. Uh, F-L-U-F-F-I-N-G, fluffing. And what that does is you play into the um, narcissistic personality styles 
uh, need for control and need for validation and admiration. So there's an old saying, you can catch more uh, bees with honey or something like that. Um, flies with honey, I don't know what it is. But anyway, you get the gist of what I'm saying. Um, you know, so uh, now I've talked to a lot of people that are empathic and they have a hard time trying to bolster the ego of a narcissistic personality style. Um, it feels very uncomfortable to them. Um, and they almost feel some sort of sense of guilt for being fake. And it's really hard when you're an empath to, um, to try to put yourself in the mindset of the narcissistic personality style and stroke their ego. And, uh, you know, but I, I will tell you that um, one time, you know, I had somebody tell me that you have to give to get, you know, and if you want to get opportunities, uh, you know, you have to give and take a little. Um, and so that, <laughs> it didn't really work out for me too well uh, to stroke the ego of this person because in stroking the ego of this person, I actually came off more as an asshole um, than I did. I, well, I'll just tell you what it was. There was a, there was a guy that was booking gigs and, um, and I, at a, of an event called Harvest Fest and my band was playing there and he only had people uh, in on the card that were um, part of his record label and they brought me in from outside and so he didn't like that too much and so he kind of uh, there was um, a little bit of there was a lot of conflict there as far as get allowing me to perform on the stage with all of his you know record label bands so since I'm a hairdresser I thought it would be nice to give him some uh, shampoo and conditioner and some styling products and uh, I put it in a nice little gift bag for him. And I forgot that the man was bald. <laughs> so it, he still, as a narcissistic, antagonistic personality style, he still viewed it as an asshole move on my part, which, you know, now I'm kind of glad that I did it. But, you know, you have to think about things like, you know, can I really afford to lose my job? Because when you're dealing with a narcissistic personality style as a supervisor or a boss, I mean, they don't really care too much about you. They care about your performance and how you make them look. So if you're not worried about another uh, losing your job, then there are some things that you can do to confront the narcissistic personality style, such as um, owning your reality and owning your truth and the way that you see it and confronting them on it. And when they um, um, sp start spitting nonsense and they try to start controlling you, like on office space, you know, like if you could, uh, you know, put the... Uh, what was it? The um, we're putting uh, cover pages on all our TPS reports. You know, when you've got all these bosses coming to you, you know, if you want to take that approach in office space as the guy that just goes aloof and you know doesn't he doesn't really stroke egos. Uh, he just uh, zones out. You know, in the movie Office Space. So, I mean, if you don't care about losing your job, then I say go for it and call the narcissist on their bullshit and tell them that it's nonsense. Uh, you can tell them that, you know, this is not going to end very well for them, uh, which is a pretty bold statement to say. And um, you can say um, that now, now I see you for who you truly are. You know, because the narcissist, if it truly is a narcissistic personality style, they're wearing a mask. 
So, uh, and another thing that I was thinking about this whole dynamic is that also since the narcissist thinks that everybody thinks the way they do, then however you're stroking their ego or if you're confronting them or, I mean, they're just going to take it as a challenge. So, I mean, if they're in a powerful position, uh, you're probably not going to make much of a dent uh, in their um, behavior, especially if they have the power to fire you or, or get rid of you or replace you. So, uh, I hope this helps. Um, every situation is different. Every company is different. Um, but dealing with narcissistic personality styles, you can either choose to stroke their ego and give them validation and admiration, which may in turn uh, just produce more grandiose behavior with them. You know, so it might not work out in your favor. Or you can choose to call them on their bullshit and say that it's nonsense and, uh, you know, tell them that it's not going to end very well for them. Uh, you know, I've tried both approaches, uh, as an empath. Um, I would say calling them on their bullshit is the way I like to go because I'm aspiring narc slayer. So I just like to, let's get in there. Conflict is a part of life. Let's just get in there and go to, go toe to toe and, uh, you know, uh, see what's underneath it all, you know, find out what you're made of, uh, you know, get in the fight. Uh, but anyway, I hope this helps. Uh, I enjoyed making the video and thinking about the content. All right. Thank you. Uh, and also, I mean, if there's another topic that you want me to do a video on, or you have any questions, uh, feel free to leave it in the comment section and also do one-on-ones. You can find that in the description of my channel, Narc Slayer. Um, all right, that's it. Have a good night. Thank you.